Hello and welcome to episode two of my latest removal. I'm Richard Ishwood, I'm the nurse working out of my clinic in the Wigan area, no more earwax. And this one's short and sweet, and the reason I've put this on is the majority of cases that we get in are relatively straightforward, uh, as was this one. So you can see we've gone in with a standard size as on the suction tube there, got a grip straight away, quick wiggle, and it's out. And eight, nine times out of ten, that usually is the case. Obviously, you can get your tricky ones, you know, your peels, your ones that are particularly deep, peeling off the eardrum, your keratosis, obturans, all really difficult, but the majority of cases we do get are fairly straightforward. Uh, and there it is, it's, it's out, and it's it's the size of a pea, but she only had a, a, a small, narrow ear canal, this lady, so it, it doesn't take much to block up a small ear canal, so I know she was very grateful, and she's a fan of lots of different pages, so I know she was quite keen for me to get this on, so hello if you're watching. I uh, hope you enjoy the commentary. There's an eardrum. Now, you can see a few little specks there, and before you all shout at me, you have to weigh up the risk-benefit of taking away every little last piece, and those will work the way out in time. And, you know, I've, I've either used weekly olive oil, it's not worth the risk sometimes of just getting every little last speck and you need a little bit in there anyway. So there's a little pea-sized uh, uh, plug. There's our clinic in Goulburn. Stay tuned for episode three.